Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today I want to talk about Linux always finds a way. And what do I mean by this is that no matter what type of weird stuff is going on, Linux is going to stick around for quite a while. There's a few things that could possibly get in the way, but even that is a little bit difficult. And we'll talk a little bit about this. Now, what got me thinking about this is a few different things. I was looking over some uh, websites, just some news sites about Linux to see what's kind of new in the Linux world. And I was thinking about the last Thursday show with uh, Debian having a lot of issues and, and whatnot going through. And so I got back to thinking about this, looking at it all and going, yeah, you know what's really fascinating is that uh, Debian itself is... Uh, starting to adopt some uh, some weird things as the highly qualified coders are leaving because of a lot of nonsense infiltrating in, like let's focus on diversity and inclusion instead of focusing on actually making a system that works and is hardened and is secure. But also last week or two weeks ago, I think it was, we talked about Ubuntu and all of the latest upcoming Ubuntu releases, all the official flavors are completely ditching flat packs entirely. And uh, even you cannot even have flat pack installed or any flat pack enabled as an optional thing if you are an official flavor of Ubuntu. So this caused a lot of people to look at it and go, oh, that kind of sucks, you know, and more and more people are like, yeah, leaving Ubuntu more and more and more behind. And the reality is, if you really do like Ubuntu and the desktop and what they've done with it, there is now another one that just popped up, and this is the Flatpak Remix, which will never be an official Ubuntu flavor because it completely goes against everything that the official Ubuntu guide is, which the official Ubuntu guide as of the next release is absolutely no flat pack support, 100% snaps, which some people are not a fan of, but I mentioned in my video and said, you know, it's easy to add flat pack support. Well, what the, uh, uh, Flatpak Remix edition of Ubuntu is, is it is Ubuntu as it is with the latest kernels, with the customized GNOME desktop. So it's basically all of Ubuntu, but they've stripped all of the snaps out <laughs> and they have added Flatpak support instead. And uh, so, and they put in some extra things so you can install flat packs through the GUI. You can install them easily by going onto the, the Flathub website and clicking on the button, and you can install uh, the flat packs directly from the website in addition to in a software store. And this is a brand new project, it's still in alpha, but you can go check it out. Uh, the flat pack remix, and basically, uh, they, they've taken the snap version of Firefox out and and uh, installed the uh, the Flatpak version, all of the different components that were Snap, they've gotten rid of all those and added the Flatpak uh, versions instead. Now, again, I don't know if they've solved the problem if you go in and do a sudo apt install Firefox, is it going to install Snap and all this, or have they blocked it like Linux Mint did? Yeah, that I don't know. I did not actually download the alpha distribution to test it out. I just thought it was an interesting statement to, to say that, that even if you love Ubuntu, but you're not a huge fan of Snaps, you're going, ugh. What flavors can I use now? You, you got a new one because Linux finds a way. Kind of like, you know, nature finds a way, which is also why these scientists trying to resurrect woolly mammoths and dodo birds are probably doing something really bad because nature is always going to find a way. I mean, did we see Jurassic Park? Just thought. Um, but as Debian, looking at Debian, and uh, we talked about that, so of course, if you missed that particular video, the, the TLDR of it is that uh, Debian, uh, Debian has had a number of diversity hires come in, and then they've all created the diversity and inclusion team, and now they're just attacking people who simply do not agree with the statement that XX people are actually females and not males. And so they are engaging in witch hunts against very qualified coders who are not otherwise rude or abusive that simply disagree with your basic premise, which is actually based on science. 
uh, the XX is a female and not a male is the science involved. And so I would be completely excluded from the Debian team because I'm apparently a, a hate monger. Um, regardless of any degrees of qualifications I might have to work with or talk about the project. So the reality is, as more and more of these things come in, all that generally happens is people are shifting back towards other distributions that either are moving more towards the philosophies that they have. I mean, I don't know if there's a, if there's a, um, uh, a science-based Linux distro that explicitly says these things, or if, um, you know, you're just going to something apolitical that's like, oh, we're not getting involved in any of the politics. We're just here to make a Linux distribution. And if you don't like it, you can leave and go to like Debian or one of the other places that has diversity and inclusion teams, whatever else. But Linux is going to find a way as one of those chief uh, developers demoted to maintainers ended up leaving the project despite being highly qualified he moved over to arch and now he's going to be back contributing some things over there and so arch itself is going to come along now what is the the worst thing that could happen is all this kind of stuff is starting to infiltrate obviously it's infiltrating some of the gnome things and some people are pushing back and some people are not and uh you know gnome is going to stick around for a while but who knows and if it gets really bad people just switch to one of the other desktops or they fork it and create something else that's what Linux Mint did. It forked GNOME at the very beginning of GNOME 3 and maintained a desktop that it liked better. And so this is kind of the way that, that Linux is going to find a way it's going to survive. But if the kernel itself is compromised, even if that's compromised, we can still get a little bit of forking, but also we can actually get people who know what they're doing in these distros like Arch. If something weird gets into the kernel, we'll just patch it before it moves out. We've actually seen this where some kernel has dropped in some DRM things that Arch came in, looked at and said, eh, not really. And uh, they've actually disabled a lot of that stuff by default in all of their kernels. And so even if it is infiltrated at a fairly high level, there's enough people in the Linux community who are working around behind the scenes to solve the problems that Linux is going to always find a way. And let's just assume the worst comes to the worst. 100% of everything is infiltrated. The entire system becomes a diversity hire instead of a meritocracy. And then what ends up happening in the light of the Linux world there? Well, we just jumped to BSD. Sure, maybe it's gone woke too, who knows? Um, but the reality is Linux is always going to find a way, whether it is a socioeconomic issue, whether it is a uh, software issue like this, this has nothing to do with any of that kind of stuff. This is just the snap versus flat pack. These guys are like, hey, some people might, out there might like really like Ubuntu and just want to use flat packs instead of snaps. Great. Now we have that option coming up. Somebody might say, yeah, I really like Ubuntu, but I prefer Budgie. That's why we have the official uh, Ubuntu Budgie uh, official community um, uh, flavor. So there are a lot of different options. And this is one of those great powers with the Linux desktop is that we can get a chance to see uh, all of that. And I see that my monitor has just stopped. So we'll go ahead and wrap up this video here. I just want to get out a, a brief little thing just indicating that Linux is always going to find a way. So thanks for uh, watching. Let me know your thoughts and comments about this down in the description down below. And uh, we will look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.